Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of this flashlight. This is the Heikalite MT-03 uh, Devourer. And this is the, uh, it's the upgraded version, the newest version with a turbo mode of 12,000 lumens. As you can see, it has three reflector wells and they have orange peel texture. Another nice feature of this is when you turn it on, the side switch is lit, as you see. Now this comes with a data sheet. Now if you want to see the full stats, just click on the link in the text description box, but let's do the highlights. Alright, first off, notice it says with the batteries, it says they require greater than 10 amps. Alright, so make sure that you fulfill those specifications, or it won't be as bright as it can be. Alright, you also see the max brightness, 12,000 lumens. And as you can see, it has uh, six brightness levels if you include the hidden moonlight. And you can see the run times there as well. To turn this on, you press the side switch. And to turn it off, you press it again. Once it is on, if you uh, press and hold, it will cycle through five brightness levels. Let's do that now. Takes a while. All right, and that is the turbo. It's got memory function, so it'll come back in whatever brightness level you turn it off in. So there's the turbo again. All right, let's cycle down. All right, you can also shortcut to turbo with a double tap. Boom. And there is the turbo. All right, and lastly, if you long press this, it gets to an ultra-low hidden mode. Uh, it's hard to see, but there you go. That's the ultra low mode. Let's do turbo again. Bam. That's insane. You'll see it better when we go outside. As you can see, this takes four 18650 lithium ion batteries. It does not come with batteries, right? And they're in a two up, two down configuration. And to access those, you just unscrew that tail cap there. And this requires basically high drain, high amp batteries. So I'm using the well-known Samsung batteries that uh, I believe Banggood will sell them to you at a reasonable price. Now notice this does not have a separate battery carrier, right? The batteries, they just, they go right into the body of the light. I like that better. Those, you know, the separate battery carriers, they're, they're a little bit fragile. You know, they're just... So I like this better. It's stronger and it's simpler. Hello YouTube. We're out here on the old testing board with this Heike light. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. And bam, that is the turbo. I mean, that is just blindingly bright. All right, YouTube, here we are perched up in the second story window overlooking the backyard. And wow, this just lights up everything. If there was a trespasser anywhere in this scene, they would be, uh, this would light them up. Let's see, zooming in. Yeah, I mean, this is just an epic floodlight. All right, here we are on the road and this is a top view beam shot of the Heikalite in turbo mode. Wow, <laughs> how far it goes down the road. Let's get behind it. Wow, it's impressive. Hello YouTube, we're out on the road testing this hike of light. Let's shine it down the road. But first, it's time for full turbo. Wow, the sun just came out now. All right, so there it is lighting up the road. It's kind of hazy out tonight, very humid. And here's the other side. Wow, I mean, this just lights up everything. That's pretty incredible. All right, let's go check out the creek, Frog Creek. All right, here we are at Frog Creek, up on the banks of the creek, the treetops, the opposite bank, the little wood bridge. You can see every bubble of the water down there. God, this is an epic floodlight. 
especially considering the price, which is very competitive compared to some of the uh, more expensive big name brands. And here we are on the soccer field. Let's see what this hike light can do. Well, there you go, it does cross the field. I mean, this is an impressive light. So what is my overall opinion on this light? It's very good, especially for the price, you know, in its category. It's an ultra bright floodlight. Um, yes, there are brighter out there, but one of the benefits of Heike light is their prices always manage to beat um, the, the prestige brands like uh, Nightcore, Olight, which are great brands. I mean, I, I have many of their lights, but if you want just a lot of lumens for less price, uh, this is really good. Uh, the price was about 120, but there was like a 15% discount. So the real price, uh, it was a little over a hundred dollars. Whereas again, some of the pricier brands, their version of, of something like this would could be anywhere from 200 to 300 dollars so yeah that's where Hikelite really shines in in the uh budget friendly category all right so are there any drawbacks to this light you should know about well it does get very hot especially in the turbo mode uh, you saw on the data sheet this will step down automatically after two and a half minutes all right and that is just to protect the light and protect you so it gets very hot. Now, two and a half minutes, that might not sound like a long time, but in most emergency situations, you know, you're, you're not going to need the turbo mode for more than two and a half minutes, usually. I mean, if you're talking about like a trespasser situation, this thing is so bright, it's just going to light up the whole scene. There will be no place to hide and you know, anyone with hostile intent is not even going to be able to look in your direction without just being blinded. So you'll have a distinctive, uh, distinct advantage if it comes to violence. Another drawback would just be that it does not come with batteries and it does not recharge the batteries in the light. So you're going to have to buy four high amp batteries and a charger if you don't have one. So that adds to cost. Now, uh, most of my, my flashlight people, they already have that and they already have some high amp batteries. So that won't be a problem. But for new people, it could be intimidating and you're definitely gonna have to do your homework on like reliable chargers and so forth. Now this light is not really designed to maximize the beam distance, the range as it were. But you saw when we went to the soccer field, it's just so dang bright that even though it's not meant to be a focused thrower, it can easily cross, uh, well that distance was a bit longer than 100 meters, and it could just cross that like it's nothing. So yeah, not a thrower, but the sheer brute force of 12,000 lumens can reach out a bit if you need it to. So in conclusion, Heikelite just continues to do very well in that uh, high performance but budget friendly category of lights. And uh, you know, I hope they continue. I kind of like the no frills thing. Like this doesn't come with a whole bunch of accessories. It doesn't come with the batteries. It doesn't recharge. It just, it's a light cannon, you know, a close range light cannon. And it, it does that very well. So yes, I do recommend this light in its category if you need to light up your entire backyard and basically <laughs> have an early sunrise. Or if you just like high performance lights, uh, but you don't want to pay the highest prices. All right, so I will include a link. Now the first batch of these, which I got mine around August, and I believe those have all sold out. But I will include a link because hopefully at some point they're going to get more in stock. So just keep checking back that link. And if they're if they're not in stock yet, you know, just click on the link and it'll they'll sh it'll show you other Heike lights that you can browse. 
uh, on Banggood.com. But yeah, I, I definitely think this is a worthy improvement of the devourer. All right, YouTube, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.